<laughs> no new video this week, guys. Thought we'd dive into a bit of literature instead. We're coming to you live from the inside of a shamrock four-leaf clover. <laughs> Gonna read some Irish literature to you. Do a little bit of an intro for those who are not familiar with Finnegan's Wake. This is Finnegan's Wake. It's a story written from the perspective of a dreamer. It, I don't <laughs> believe it's supposed to make... I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Pun upon, pun upon, pun upon, onomatopoeia. Here we go. We apologize to all Irish people who are watching right now. We really... We are Irish, you know? My... My ancestors are from there. I like to eat Lucky Charms. I know exactly what it's like to be an Irishman. You? I'm one quarter Irish, <laughs> Dana. <laughs> All right. Is We're that a fake this. mustache? Unbelievable. No. It's my emotional support mustache. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> we're just terribly sorry for what we're about to do it's to you. It's been one of those days. So basically, I'll turn off the accent for five seconds to get this out. We've both been wanting to read Finnegan's Wake. Um, it's such a dense, strange, absurd, pun-rich book. We have no intention it's of understanding gibberish. it. <laughs> and we have heard that the best way to understand Finnegan's Wake is by reading it out loud with beer. Um, and obviously we have to do Irish accents to be able to understand some of the puns because they're so like soundy. A lot of um, puns. So we didn't have a video for this week. So we were like, well, we've been wanting to get together anyway and read Finnegan's Wake. So let's just do that as our video for this week. We're so sorry for doing this. We're tanking yeah. the channel, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it self-sabotage. And from the, from the ashes of this project, we we'll rise it. anew. <laughs> I'm dressed in my leprechaun outfit. It's perfect. It's I'm not so sorry moment. about my Irish accent. <laughs> Mine's even worse, and I'm more Irish than you. My Irish ancestors are rolling in their graves. They're shallow graves. <laughs> They're shallow. Why do you keep doing that? I think it well, looks... because it's cutting off our heads. No, we want. To... We shouldn't be cutting off our heads. Well, you're too far See... forward. <laughs> I'm just trying to get Paddington, all of us. Paddington, what do you think? <laughs> God, this is. Oh no, I think I need to enter that. Yeah, so sorry, guys. Huge. Can I go get another beer? We don't have any. You're no, gonna have to share this one with me. All right, I'm gonna have to pretend I'm drunker. Unless Use you want a shot effect. of tequila. Oh yeah. Do you think Joy drank tequila? <laughs> <laughs> I think he would have. Oh no, my boyfriend just broke up with me, and I've been crying all night. This isn't gonna help. Oh no. I'm so sorry. You've come to the wrong place. Except maybe to get lost in the confusion of these accents. I'm actually I'm very not laughing sorry. At you. I'm, I'm not, laughing at the next I'm one. I'm very sorry. That's no, really genuinely, sorry. that is like. It's the worst pain, so I'll answer with you. I feel like Tanner is Northern Ireland and Sam is more like Limerick area. I can't wait to find out more about that. We were talking about it's hard to keep a consistency with accents because there's like 10 accents in Ireland. You really have to anchor onto a person, but sometimes you have words that you haven't heard before <coughs> or, you know, the type of word, and so you're not quite sure how to come out, and then mm -hmm. it comes out, you know, Northern I Northern English or you something missing. Something, yeah. I, I also was speaking Portuguese earlier you today. So and it's coming and out. you had a bit of Australian for a while. Paddington oh, is so, so perfectly centered. What you don't know is that Paddington actually centers himself in every description. <laughs> He's very bad. It's at actually like this. Biases. The Paddington painting is very turned, <laughs> and we have all sort of arranged ourselves to fit around him. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even charging, so let's just not bother with it sliding. Okay, Tanner, you want to start us off? It's time to read Finnegan's Wake. Tanner can read Finnegan's Wake a lot better than me. And also, I tried reading this in the week last week and was thoroughly too stupid. I was using like a little reference thing online. But Tanner read a paragraph before this and I do think it's a lot easier to understand. I say a lot easier. I'm smart enough to recognize this is brilliant, but not smart enough to understand it. <laughs> totally. We both listen to podcasts about Finnegan's Wake. Yes, we haven't read it yet. Oh, so interesting fact. This book starts halfway through a sentence. The first Perfect. word being river run, lower capitalized. Huge Japanese the very, power move. <laughs> the very last sentence of the book start, ends halfway through and begins where the beginning of this book is. <clears throat> all right. Here we go. Maybe we'll go one paragraph at a time and then we'll check in with Hard all, to the, tell all the super chats we're no doubt going to get from this. Yes, don't, don't forget. <laughs> don't forget. If you, if you love the accent. You can send a super chat and it'll send us money right into our little leprechaun, <laughs> our little <laughs> basket of goodies at the end of yep. the rainbow. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it works. It's been a long time. All right. Settle in. River run past Ab Eve and Adam's for swerve of shore to bend of bay brings us by a commodious vicus of recirculation back to Houth Castle and environs. 
Sir Tristram Voilard Amor, for over the short sea had passed and core re-arrived from North America on the side of the scraggy isthmus of Europe Minor to wilder fight this peninsulate war. Nor had Top Sawyer's rocks by the stream Ockany exaggerated themselves to Lawrence County Giorgio's while they went Dublin their mumper all the time. <laughs> Nor a voice from a fire bellows mish mish to tough tough throughout Piatric not yet. No <laughs> Are we losing? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's just somebody said Girl Boss's voice. <laughs> and I just, I was really trying to focus when I read Girl Boss's voice. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't laughed this hard in days. <laughs> <laughs> we really needed this. <coughs> so, what did We're we learn? Into the crevasse. <laughs> So, so just just to catch everyone up. Did someone say super chats? It was us. Twas I. <laughs> Twas Joyce from beyond his shallow Irish grave. So uh, just to clear everything up for those who may be dilly dallying, <laughs> we've mumpered a soon. <laughs> Someone said, could you do a three-sentence summary of the book? Absolutely not. I can do a three-sentence summary. There's a man named Finnegan and he wakes. <laughs> At a wake, it's very deep. It's apparently a very stream of consciousness book with just balls deep in literary references that even if you read liter literacy. And layers <laughs> and layers and layers of pun. This is like... <clears throat> A schizophrenic, a schizophrenic genius just v vomiting pure consciousness <laughs> onto page. I'm still laughing at girls. <laughs> 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 oh, so me okay, did we get through that paragraph? We, uh, I'm still going. <laughs> we got to the Misha Mish part. <laughs> Carry on. So we're at Misha Mish. <laughs> Rotten. <laughs> also, apparently, it helps if you know like four European languages for this. <laughs> yeah. Rotapec of Paz Malt and Gemmer Shen, brewed by Arc Light, and Rory End, the Regin Brow, was seen to the ring some on the aqua face. The fall. Babal. This is one word. Babal Garak Guktam Minarank Bron Nartanar related or. Oh, Ronu Tathun Tararafai Hound San and Skutu Tutarin Denther Nook. Of a once wall straight old par, oft wall entailed at such short notice the Pishfut of Finnegan, <laughs> air solid man, that Tumpty Tome, Tum Toes, <clears throat> and their upturned pike point in place is at the knockout in the park where oranges have been laid to rust upon the green since Devlin's first love Libby. What do we think the paragraph's about, if I, we had to say? Uh, Finnegan is... Finnegan. Is he on a walkabout? This book is about Finnegan. Wait. He's just having a little mumber of four in the mush mush. <laughs> <laughs> it scares me how well He's he unquiring one world past the world in quest of his tumpty toe <laughs> <laughs> Okay, first of all, thank you for the super chat. I feel like, honestly, I'm like, is is this, a we, is this an abusive relationship? <laughs> <laughs> are we the abusers? Like, but, us for money. <laughs> thank you so much um I, I think i've heard that this book is like a dream yeah yeah so it would make sense if it's like you're just stumbling out yeah so out the book, his little hobbit house the book ulysses i believe from what i've heard <laughs> and read is the story is a, a single story <clears throat> told from multiple perspectives and that kind of like whoa, what is actually reality? We're all kind of piecing it together. There isn't one <laughs> single objective reality. Yeah. And then this is kind of a similar story, <clears throat> a story of Dublin, of a Dubliner named A Finnegan, Dublinite, roundabout a Devlin. But absolutely from a dream perspective. So there's all kinds of interwoven symbologies mm -hmm. and themes and <laughs> unconscious connections and puns. So many puns that I don't quite understand but could terse out a whole doctorate degree of it. But yeah, people have said this, but I, I keep remembering Girl Bosses, what is this? <clears throat> oh, Let's gosh. make that a shirt. Girl Bosses, what is this? <laughs> I wish that were our brand instead of ex-Mormonism. 
are we certain these are words or are they just Irish sounds? Well, they're, <laughs> it's largely Irish sounds. The fall, per, in brackets, parentheses, parentheses <laughs> Baba Bada Go. No, I have read this part. We're already done here. Oh, okay. What? You don't remember me saying Baba Daktush de Talo? I'm so sorry. <laughs> what clashes here of wheels, Jen, once, Austri, gods, gagging, fishy gods? How would you say that? Brekic. 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 I Brekic. don't know if the Irish roll their R's. Do Brekic. They? No, it's even... probably the back of the throat. Brekic. 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 Not just Brekic. Brekic. Just R. Hard R. Brekic. Brekic. Kekic. 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 Co. 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 It's so much worse when I do it. I think you should you should take the reins again. All right, here we go. Sam is the official reader for Sam. It makes sense. And my middle name being Finnegan. <laughs> <laughs> what clashes here of Will's gent was... Austri gods, gag and fishy gods, brekek, kekek, 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 quax, 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 ualu, ualu, ualua, qua. <laughs> Where the Baudelaire's partisans are still out to math master, Malicus migraines and the verdans catapulting, the cameballistics out of the white voice of hoodie head, assy gates and boomerang strums, swords brood, be me fair. <clears throat> Sangalorian save. Arms appeal with larms. Appalling killy, kill, killy. At all, at all. What chance, cuddlies? What cashiels aired and ventilated? What bidimatolovs seduced by what tagopatathalo solvers? What true feelings for those higher with strong voice of false jicup? Or hiccup spelled with a J, probably. Probably some kind of pun. <laughs> oh, here, here. <laughs> How hath fan spained most high heaven the sky song of soft advertisement? But is? A suit? Air were sewers? That, I'm losing it. <laughs> the oaks of old, now they lie in peat, yet <clears throat> elms leap where asks lay. Fall, if you will, but fall spelled with a PH like phallus. But will rise, you must. See, I, I understand makes literature. You <laughs> <laughs> it makes you tink indeed. <laughs> foul, foul if you will, rise you must. And none so soon either shall the farce again spelled with a PH. For the noons come to a set down secular finish. Finish like a finish, but spelled like a phoenix. To not truly finish, but rise again. Holy shit. <laughs> So we got quite a lot of religious imagery in the first Is page. that what you were getting? <clears throat> I feel like this is a Rorschach blot of literature. <laughs> Tanner, I don't know what I'm getting. <laughs> I'm but telling you. But even Adams was like a Catholic church, right? <clears throat> Some context. We're getting I know context here. A couple of the references I remember from the website. <laughs> You're not going to get this in an Oxford degree, no sir. We're bringing you. You know, the brainiacs at Oxford are so disconnected from the text because they're so in the weeds of this the This was text. written for the common it's man. It's not written <laughs> for people to understand the references. It's written to live stream. <laughs> <laughs> James Joyce had us in mind <laughs> when he wrote this. I think he'd love what we're doing right now. I think you would absolutely adore it. James Joyce, the original girl boss. <laughs> <laughs> Lassie <laughs> Lassie Commandia. <laughs> yeah. Boig Mr. Finnegan of the struttering hand, Freeman's Marur, lived in the broadest way, imaginable, uh, like the margins of society and imaginable. See another pun there. I'm picking up what <laughs> Joyce is putting down. <laughs> no, you what can't stop down. picking up what he's putting down without me. <laughs> In his rush lit too far, back for massages before <laughs> Joshua and judges had given us numbers of Helveticus committed to Deuteronomy. One yeasty day, he sternly struck his tate in a tub for to watch the future of his face. If you want us to stop reading and talk, then give us super chats. The more super chats That's we get. That's the function of saying, super chats. Is uh, you super chat us, we stop reading Finnegan's Wake. Until uh -huh. then... Yeah, if you ask us a question about something unrelated to Finnegan's Way in a super chat, we will answer. <laughs> this is what That's James Joyce was hoping for. We're living out his dream. Oh. Also, to the person saying, I feel like I'm in a fever dream, you are. You are literally in a fever dream literally. of a schizophrenic genius having a psychedelic trip. <laughs> By the might of Moses, the very water was evaporated. And all the Guinnesses had met, I think it's supposed to be geniuses, but Guinnesses, which is probably what this man was, a genius on Guinness. Mm -hmm. He was. 
had met their exodus so that ought to show you what a <clears throat> pens shown juchi chap he was and during mighty odd years this man of hod cement and edifices in topper thorpe piled buildung supra buildung upon the banks for the livers by the soong so he addled little fifey and he ugged the little crather with her hair and horns tuck up your part in her off Ooh. took up your part in her <laughs> i don't know if you <laughs> should be tucking up your heart <laughs> it is quite raunchy <clears throat> just for anybody who's just joined nobody's really joining most of you early. we're definitely getting all the bottom of the barrel stuff all the sex references and the and the scatology we're really picking up on you know if you want us to stop denominator. reading finnegan's wake super chats <laughs> folks <laughs> He add a little fifey, and he ugged the little crather, with her hair in horns, tuck up your part in her. Oft while Balbulus myth her ahead, with goodly trowel and grasp, in voyrold overalls, which he habitually fonseed, like Haran Childeric, Egberth he would caligulate by multiplicablus the altitude and maltitude, until he seesaw by neat light of the liquor where twin twas born. His round head staple of other days to rise and undress masonry upstanded. Joy granted. I'm, I, a Christian coming onto this would be like, I don't know what this means, but I do not like it. I do not <laughs> feel that it is godly. All right, Tana. We've done a whole page. We've done a whole page what's, of Finnegan's Wake. What's your interpretation of the first page? So if far? I can quite understand, it seems like Finnegan sometimes tucks his muffler into Fanny Annie. I liked that bit. I liked that bit. <laughs> Cabby said somehow this language is becoming more understandable by the second. I think I know it, what I you're think I know. So. I think what it does. What if we all become James Joyce stands? I really think I this is I really think that the way it was it, was supposed to be intended is by turning off the thinking mm -hmm. part of your brain mm -hmm. not over analyzing all the, it really does help to see it and hear it because then because sometimes i see a word and i'm like that's not a word and then i say it and i'm like oh that was good um don't think just feel just think I, just who feel. knew that this would be so relevant to our channel okay so what if i took a shot of tequila i know it's not whiskey like Love it to go get the tequila during the live stream you're gonna have to entertain them Oh God, oh no, <laughs> call my therapist. <laughs> it's in the fridge. Fridge. Hi guys, uh, I'm gonna do some some unpaid non-Finnegan's wake chatting while Tana's getting some tequila. Tell them about paying us to shut up. <laughs> Tana said to tell you about paying us to shut up. So if you want us to answer questions about anything it doesn't even have to be james joyce related like honestly but like we are available for you know questions about U ulysses and wow you just down that shot can i have some <laughs> are you willing to shoot the yeah oh, just bring it just bring it i swear to god if we get cancelled over this finnegan's wake video no we're untouchable. <laughs> the Irish are coming we for shut us. That door. We were both Irish. Did I say we're okay, Irish? yeah. I, I feel like <laughs> I love this. Can I just say it really does just worm its way into the consciousness. Brain off, Finnegan on. <laughs> I love this. We're all learning something from Finnegan's A new wife. medieval torture technique. More like Finnegan sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's part of a pun or something. Part of a pun. Should I just spike the beer with the tequila? Oh my god, that sounds awful. Jenna, do it all the time, and it's actually quite good. Oh god, if you want. Okay. I mean, do you? It's your beer, your tequila. I okay. Go for well, it if you feel like I just, it. This is a $50 bottle of tequila, okay? Oh so my god, just, you let that, me just drink a $50 bottle of tequila. If that influences any of the decisions out. anyone makes in this video. <laughs> Holy god. Okay. Um, I, so Finnegan is living in the broadest way imaginable at the margins of society. We got that from the word imaginable. I'm respecting the hell out of it. I'm going to start just talking in totally made up language and be like, I'm sorry if you don't understand me. You just need to turn off your thinking brain. <laughs> I'm just a stream of consciousness. You need to. Less meep and more mumping. <laughs> As my granddaddy always says. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so glad we're doing this. Okay. Second page. Let's go. Okay, so little Fifey Annie, who is uh, the little crather. I don't know if I can drink any more of this. Cray like a crayfish. Cray like Perhaps, a crayfish. Uh, never mind. 
even if I skipped a, a whole paragraph or page, I don't know that anyone would know the difference. <laughs> well, I, I think we should go in order. Okay. Um, <clears throat> are you feeling like taking up another challenge? God, I can try, but the mini, the, <laughs> the, the sounds, I just, I fucking lose it. Walworth of a skyscape of most useful. Okay, super chat. Yes, I was supposed to be studying, but my brain has been shut off, and Finnegan took over my body. <laughs> took over my body. It has a way of doing that. He does that. A skyscape of most Eiffel, Hoyth, and Towerly, originating from next to nothing and cell escaping the Himmels and all. Higher architect tip to. You gotta do it. We're never right. gonna get anything if I do it. I just really enjoy tapping into my Irish ancestry. Um, what then agent like brought about that tragedy Thunder's Day this municipal sin business our cube house still rocks as ear witness to the thunder of his Arafatas we hear but also through successive ages that Shebi Charush of uncalified muzzle minhes mil helimis that would black guardies the white stone ever her turtled out of heaven stay us wherefore in our search for titusness Oh, sustainer. Wow, sus. Suspicious. I know that from Twitter. Titusness? Yeah, it's like righteousness, but Ooh, titusness. titusness. That's good. That's good. It's all so good it's and like good. annoying. It's like a, it's the most insane dad joke ever. This whole <clears throat> book is just a dad joke. It's like, you know how some words sound like other words? <laughs> the dad's triumph at last. It's going to be like, don't touch the thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> an Irish person would never have a tomorrow <laughs> my Irish a term on hurt her <laughs> my Irish granddad would never have central heating on and never Near. okay take uh, another shot Prue Lawrence <laughs> I'm not one to argue with a super chatter so, uh, oh, Tanner I, what oh someone paid me to take another shot okay, well there's, if they paid me I there's about bloody half a shot each in here right, so well, I'm each just going to take a swig I'm already quite inebriated. Off screen, I was hitting the vape. <laughs> <laughs> Big nicotine boy. <laughs> okay. <coughs> oh my god, my emotional mustache came off. <laughs> that was so gross. <laughs> Boom, this has all been a setup for that joke. <laughs> You've been bamboozled. <laughs> that beer is like a juice. Ah, thank god. All right. Stay us wherefore in search for tightestness, O sustainer, what time we rise, when we take up to tooth mick, and before we lump down and uptown our leather bed, and in night at the out at the fading of the stars. For a nod to the Nabir is better than wink to the Wabsanti. Other ways wears ways like the provost scoffing between the Jebel and the Gypsy and Sea. Crop herb the crunch <clears throat> bracken shall decide. Then we'll know if the feast is a fly day. She has a gift of seek on sight, and she owl casually on Sars helpers the dream deary. Heed, heed! It may half been a misfired brick, as some say, or it moat have been due to the collapsus of his back promises, as others looked at it. There extend by now one thousand and one stories all told of the same. And so sore did Abe it Evie's all irid apples. What with Walhall's horrors of rolls rides, car hearts, stone gins, kiss stubbings, tram trees, fogo bowlers, <clears throat> auto kinetons, hippo hibblies, street fleets, turnek taxes, megafogs, circuses, and wards moats, and basilurks, and arapagouds, and the hoist, and the jolly brule, and the peeler in the coat, and the Mecklenburg bitch bite at his ear, and the Maryland borough burrocks, and his four old poor courts, the boar, the moor, and his blight black working stacks, at twelve pins a dozen, and the newbie buses sliding down, slading down along the safety first street, and the dairy jelbies snooping around, tell no tailor's corner, and the fumes, and the hopes, and the stroopy thump, of his veals, indigenous Rome keepers, home sweepers, dome creepers, thurum and thurum and fancy mud, marund and all the uproar from all the oaf roofs, a roof for May and a reef for Hugh Butte. Under right, his bridge, we need Tony, some commentary. one morning fill full, tripling full. <laughs> Tana, his, Tana, we're, Tana. Almost, we're almost close. His hound field heavy, his hornet to shake. There was a wall, of course, in erection. Sex reference. Dim. His stoddard from the ladder. Damn, 
he was dead. Doom! Master Batum, Master Batom, when Amon marries his loot is all long for a whole the world to see. So we're obviously having some masturbation references now. Okay, it's interesting because it like is kind of becoming a real language, but also not one that makes sense still. But also it feels like a meditation exercise because it's like, <laughs> but genuinely you have to like stay present <sighs> enough to be not trying to figure out what it's saying. You can't hold on to it too And tightly. just roll with it. Yes, hold it loosely, just like a mantra. <laughs> like a mantra. This is fucking meditation. You can't tell me it's not. <laughs> would love to talk about something other than this at some point but there's no but pressure no one's if you guys yet. are enjoying Finnegan's Wake like who are we to take that away from you yeah it is this is it's as as good as I thought oh, uh -oh there that goes light's that light off. now we've got eerier and spookier all right we're still going then I can't so believe there's 700 pages of this someone said the first 20 pages are the hardest and after that it starts to great well, but maybe it's by then you're just like broken in. Yeah, exact sunk cost fallacy because like twenty pages has taken you like four weeks to read. I'm so if I can if I can gather anything from this book so far, it's that there's a guy named Finnegan who's got a, a some kind of partner partnership with this woman Annie. But at the same time, there's some masturbation going on. So How master on earth batum. Have you got that? So, well, he said master batum, master batum. How did you figure out when one marries his? When one marries his loot all along, when a so that's like when a man marries his loot like a flute, so he's like playing his flute, which is his dick, for the whole world to see. Well, Tanner, I'm so glad you're here <laughs> to decode this. How's this like? I should she. It's like see, but she. I should. This she. is bright. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be off putting. But, like, this whole thing has been off-putting. We should try to make this as off-putting as possible. I mean, I, I there's there's no sense stopping that. Wait, what? Is, P, Prue Lawrence, did my shot request mean nothing? We took shots. We did. did we did the see? shot. I did a whole we shot. We did the shot. I mean, I did a half a shot. This this was a, a $40. How many dollars was this? That's fucking $50. $50. It's disgusting. We did take a shot. Huge I mistake. You can <laughs> rewind this when it's over and go see. I did take it. And I was like, ah. And then I took some beer even. <laughs> and I was like, ah. <laughs> but listen, if you're if you're discontent with your shot, we'll we'll do another one. <laughs> <laughs> this is Should an just, experience. <laughs> this is an experience, yeah. Now we're suddenly down in the light. Okay. We're oh. down in the old light. Oh, so far so good though, right? Yes, yeah, fucking brilliant, marvelous, totally scripture. Shies, I should she. Maku, maku, or why did ye die of a trying Thursday morning? Oh, thirst. He is a thirsty reference. It's Thursday because he he already told us it was Thursday, but he said Thursday morning, and not just morning, but morning like. Bah. So there's a sad, thirsty, horny person. Sobs they sigh did at Philigan's Chris Morris wake. All the hooligans of the nation prostrated in their consternation and their duodismally profusive plethora of ulentation. There were plums and grooms and cherifs and citherers and raiders and cinnamon too. All they giined and with their shoutmost shoviality. Agog and Magog. Agog and Magog. A biblical reference. See, I know my shit. Tana. And the round of them, Agrog. To the contuation of... It's... Okay, so it is, like, just pun for pun's sake at this point. It's like, you know how words sound like other words? You already said that. I know, but it's just really, really <clears throat> hitting me. And I respect the hell out of it. Don't get me wrong. How's everyone feeling? What's everyone's yeah, what's general your experience vibe? Like, like how, how are... what's your relationship with Finnegan's Wake like? This is so creepy. So it looks like night vision, like a uh, uh, US Marshal is like busting a scene where two drunks are reading Finnegan's Wake. Support us on Patreon and I'll get a new laptop eventually that can keep up with I don't know, processing speed, <laughs> camera quality. Hey, what did I miss? A lot and nothing. A lot and nothing. Just Buckle in, turn off, Just turn off your mind, relax, float drunk. downstream. Yeah, you don't need to know anything. All you need to know is there's a drunk. You wanking. just came into the story, and the story also came into you, if you know what I mean. 
You don't need. Yes, I have been living up to my Irish accent. I started feeling like. Honestly, I don't. I've never really practiced an Irish accent, but it kind of compels it for me. It's like it was written in pure Irish. Like I, I feel like I'm sitting in Dublin. I do feel like you're channeling it perfectly. And Thank I, you very I much. I also feel like I'm sort of coming into it. This is a. This is sort of a. A commentary on James Joyce, his ability to express the Irish language. It's so true. Also, I do. The Irish it. language. <laughs> Irish is not a language. <laughs> well, it is, isn't it? Oh no, I'm thinking. Of, well, I mean, if you gave this to a no, no, uh, no, no. English speaking person, like Welsh. this is not. I just flipped to a ran random page, and it's like Tingy Town Tivit linking one plasma matatam in an eye hill nuance. Yeah, it's just not like English. My grandma this is always straight said. Irish. <laughs> um. Someone said, this feels like something an AI bot would write. Yeah, it, before it does feel his like time. That. Yeah, he was sort of an AI bot, <laughs> sort of psychedelic in his own Honestly, way. Honestly, though. He really is psychedelic before psychedelics. Like, uh, I got to stop talking in an Irish accent. Terence McKenna, who is also an uh, Irish, uh, you know, McKenna is sort of an Irish name. Terence McKenna, if you're not into the psychedelic <laughs> philosophy scene, he's sort of a, an expert in the realm of psychedelics. He literally, literally wrote the book on growing your own mushrooms he was a big fan of finnegan's wake in fact he named his son finnegan you do slip into a lot of northern english i do is... but for the average listener they the can't tell the difference <laughs> isn't isn't iron isn't ireland just northern england not at all. an irish person is very offended <laughs> right now <laughs> and i also do think we we do we do different accents like we're going for a slightly different thing we are based on what we've heard i have okay so i've been listening to a lot of lectures about ireland because i've been listening to a lot of lectures about this <coughs> book <laughs> but i guess there is a lot of like really intense resentment can i just vape on screen is that fine yeah but i'm gonna there's a lot of resentment against the british i guess i get it and uh but everyone has a, you know, well, I mean, everyone deserves every seven British. It's kind of, well, America has kind of taken the place. It's weird. Yeah, America's the Everyone's place. like, oh my God, America sucks. Yeah. But England kind of started it, started it and then like slipped away. And now they're like belligerent child America is like, I own the world. I inherited the world from England. And then, I'm like, the boss it's now. racist parent is like, we're doing Brexit. Yeah, uh -huh, <laughs> like, exactly. Like, we could have had something. We could have elevated our status in the world, but no, we have to do a Brexit. <laughs> so someone said, Finnegan's Wake makes me feel like I'm forcibly Please dissociating from the spoken language, but I'm vibing. I'm feeling it's, that. I'm really feeling it's that. It's not about understanding. <laughs> It's, again, Dracos just says, want to redo my spiel. This is a meditative practice. Stay present with the work. Let it flow through you. You do not comprehend the work. You comprehend life through the work. It's no Jack Wayland, but... It's no Jack Wayland. <laughs> yeah, this cannot quite rival Jack Wayland. There is no literary master like Jack Wayland. Somebody's claiming they can understand it because they've taken psychedelics. <laughs> I think they're right. That I think feels... they're onto something. <laughs> Finnegan's Waking. Oh, we all read that. Okay, so we, we keep on going. Read Ficon next. Again, ready for talking about anything else as soon as you super chat us. <laughs> I come in and out of bits of thinking, wow, that's really good. You're really channeling that. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hurrah, there is but young glee for the owl globe wheels in view, which is tautologically the same thing. Well, him, a being so on the flounder of his bulk like an overgrown babbling, let we keep see at home well CPG or tea out platter pate. Whom? From a shopolis to Bailiwick, or from Ashtoon <coughs> to Baranouth, or from by the banks to round the head, or from the foot of the bill to the irrelevant eye, he calmly extols <coughs> solis. And all the way, a horn! From fjord <coughs> to fiel. His bay winds obobo shall whale him rock bound. Hoa, 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 hoa. In a swim, swam, swum, and all the livy long night, and the del del dalping night, the night of the blue bells, her flitter flute in tricky troches. O oh, Karina, O oh, Karina, wake him. <laughs> With her Isavan Esavans, and her patter Jack Martins all about them, ins and ouses. It's good. Tilling a teal of a tome, telling a toll of a teary, turty tabling, race before glutton for what we are, gifts a gross if we are about to believe. 
So pull the bags and pass the quiche for the cross sake. Omen, so sighs us. Grandpapas has fallen down, but Greeny spreads the board. Weiss on the joint of a dish. Fiend, fo foam of the foosh. Weiss be his bacon head. A loaf of sing pan trees, Kennedy's bread. And Weiss hish the hoop of his tail. A glass of Donin Undu's famous old Dublin ale. Below, as you would quaff off his fied stunk and sink tea through that pith of flower white body. <clears throat> Behold of him behome, behemoth, for he is no emo. Finishy, only a photograph of yestern scene, almost ribicon salm salar, ancient from out the ages of the Apomanides. He is smolten in our midst, woe becanned and packed away, so that meets dead off for some um, shluk, schlis, and good rid hearing. Yet me, yet we, yet may we see still the bronchic than form outlined as lumbered, even in our own night time by the sedge of the troutling seam that Bronto loved and Brunto has a lean on, hicubat edelis, apud libertanum parvulum. What if she be in flags or fit flitters, reeky rags or Sunday choses, with a mint of mines or beggar a penny weight? Ara, sure, we all love little Annie Ruini, or we mean to say, love little Annie Ranini, when under her umbrella, mid piddle, mid puddle, she ninny goes, nanny goes, nancing by, yo, Brun alone slaps yo snores. Upon Bell Heather, and Sepalus out to <clears throat> the Cranach head on him, caster of his region, peer yonther in yonder mist. Wooth? <laughs> Are you comprehending this? <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Show me! This is not fair! I, I mispronounced it. It's Hooth. <laughs> hooth is a great word. I can't believe Where Twitter. Is this? I can't believe Twitter hasn't caught on to Hooth Let's do yet. It. Hooth? Hooth? Hooth is asking me oh, this. Oh, like who? Okay. Yeah, okay, no, so you know how everyone's like, Hoomst? Hooth is the new one. Wow, that last tequila shot, which someone Wait, didn't appreciate, did is some... actually really hitting. <laughs> did someone stumble onto this because they said, was during an analog horror deep dive, this came up. <laughs> Don't feel like I've quite made it out yet. What inspired <laughs> Art is a lie. Nothing is real. Nothing is real. We are drunk on a Tuesday. <laughs> Irish is indeed... A language tanner, you clod. <laughs> there you go. Someone says it's like the focus is less on yeah. the meaning of the words and more about the hearing of the sound spin around each other in spiral we in the direction a of the real book club. We've started a book Are we club. We fucking literature geniuses <laughs> now. We're reading fucking James Joyce on a Tuesday. We used to read James Jack Joyce Wayland. on a Tuesday. Oh. I wish that was like a club beat rather than like Barbara Streisand. It's like <laughs> James Joyce on a Tuesday. Joyce. Joyce, 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 Joyce. It's kind of interesting <laughs> how the word Joyce also Joyce. employs the phenomena of joy, but it's kind of a choice. <laughs> I, just... I bet rappers, Irish rappers are insufferable. <laughs> I feel high. Yeah, I think that's about right. Chatter, what, if you have to say, also open question, what's going on? In the book so far. Again. <laughs> there uh, are no wrong answers. <laughs> I Ireland is happening. Dublin is happening. This there is are people who want to have sex, but they are masturbating instead. There's some Annie who you want to stick it in with her <laughs> pinther. All about the winther. A more of the scables. <laughs> so Stop, sorry. It's so sorry. everywhere. I can't help it. It's the, the Irish. Anyone's ever spit on me in a conversation. In a non sexual context. <laughs> Tana, where'd you get your outfits? You always look amazing. I went to Leprechauns or Us. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I've been reading James Joyce too long. Nothing makes sense, and yet everything is sensible. Also, I'm having a terrible bangs day. It's not a great day for James Joyce. Not a banging day for bangs. <laughs> um, honestly, thank you, Prue Lawrence for the five dollars that was very sweet i did i got this jacket at a savers it's all from savers i swear this is all from savers it's correct 
which is amazing. I like this shirt, especially because it has shoulder pads, which makes me feel very... It's weird because shoulder pads are the only thing that make you feel masculine and feminine at the same time. It's like feminine trying to be masculine. So, you know, when I wear it, it's like, oh, that's a feminine man trying to be masculine. And I own it. I'm sorry, is this too real for Facebook? <laughs> I mean, YouTube or whatever this is. Tana, get back to work. <laughs> This is gonna. There's gonna be a clip of this, and this is gonna be the reason I get canceled, and I'm here for it. Okay, guys. So, uh, so follow along closely, okay? Because yeah. if you're falling behind, and remember, it's more about hearing the sounds, spin around each other, and spiral in the direction of a real phrase. It really helps if you're on the Guinness. So, if you've got a Guinness or something akin to it, then have a gin or something akin. Have a little gin. Something gin? like our man Finn, who's about to wake. <laughs> For goodness sake, I've got to stop and read the book. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most, like, drunk I've been in a minute. You never drink. I never drink. Here we are. I'm doing this for you and for the Super Chats He's from had, like, Crew Lawrence. one beer and a shot. <laughs> and a shot. Actually, though, it was an 8% beer, so that's kind of like two beers. And all I've eaten today is spaghetti squash and whatever else I toasts. had for other meals. Oh boy, okay, this book guys, does if, not slow down. <laughs> you, I know. I find the intensity of it all quite like like you I it's amazing how you're managing <laughs> to pick up on enough to be kind of like feeling out the vibe of this. Or I can't tell if you're just going really dramatic with everything just to sort of, you know, why not? I mean, I think I think it's real. I, this is supposed to be like I mean there there is it's very just psychedelic in essence, which is why Terrence McKenna was a fan. It's like all these levels of consciousness. You get this mm -hmm. like scatological, like root chakra level, which is like poop and pee. And then there's like a sexual level of oh the master butoon and the wheeling and dealing inside her mufferin. Um, and then there's like an interpersonal level and then there's like a mythical level. This has layers. I've listened to enough to know that this is true, but most of it is kind of just the experience and is going over my head, which okay. you may have known. I think this is a genius really like flexing his stuff and being like, you're not going to get it, but you know that I'm smart. <laughs> I would suck James Joyce's dick. I'm going to say that right now. I would, I would, <laughs> I would. I would suck his dick, his prick, his pencil a writing a writing. <laughs> it's like I keep having things start in my head, but I'm like, I know I can't commit. I won't be able to finish them. <laughs> I'm trusting. You really got to surrender to the headspace. Personally, someone, attack that there you is no space, TLDR. But... It's just it's supposed to be just a fever dream. This is a dream, so and it it's supposed have to, make to be sense. more about how the words sound and like the general feel and like sort of like the subconscious stuff that comes up for you, rather than there being a super coherent narrative. So again, this is supposed to be a dream. It's Finnegan's Wake, but it is Finnegan's Kinky. dream, mm -hmm. and kind of like a dream. When you're in the dream, there's not like you're not like, oh, this is the reason I'm uh -huh. seeing all these things. It's just all this weird yeah. stuff. And then when you wake up, you look back at it and you're like, oh, it's probably because I'm this and that. Yeah. You kind of extract your meaning. I think that's what this experience is. So just imagine it's a dream. Is. And uh, it's just no vibes. No just thoughts, just vibes. Just vibes. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> that is, yeah, no thoughts, just vibes. The James if you Joyce are on Twitter, Twitter that, that's a good tweet, like waiting to be tweeted. And I think you should, you know, yeah, James Joyce. It. No we'll retweet it. I promise. We if Sam notices it, she'll, re she'll retweet I it. I love a good Finnegan's Wake tweet. I just recently, <laughs> Sam did a brilliant Finnegan's Wake tweet and nobody retweeted Years it. Years ago. Years ago. It was like, I'm an open book and that book is Finnegan's Wake by James Joyce. It's and everyone was like, tweet, okay, that's tweet. funny. Until like, unless you, until you've opened Finnegan's Wake and realized what, a just fever. No one dream. was like, "Oh, that's funny, Tana." That was. The I issue. did. I, as someone who's listened to multiple podcasts about <laughs> Finnegan's Wake, I hey, really appreciated it. Now I'm on your page slash vibe. Yes, this is a chance for you to surrender the need for order and control and structure and understanding. Suspend judgment, narrative, opinions. This is meditation in its purest form. Let's dive back in. I feel like if I started just in a random place in the book, nobody would know. I know, but don't do and that. And it would still work. I would know. S someone said, 
if the if every book on earth were destroyed you would be able to reconstruct society and the universe and dublin ireland to be precise from J- finnegan's wake oh my god i was and so I scared you were going to say the book of mormon and i was like <laughs> no, no one has said that please no one can have said that or i would lose my shit <laughs> it is so funny to compare the book of mormon to literally any other piece oh, of no. literature i know like as a mormon it never dawned on me until i left that it was like this is bad because I was always reading it and it's like trying so hard to like extract meaning from it. And looking back, I was like, it was just really boring. And there, there's like a couple of things where you're like, you oh, can extract nice. meaning. Yeah. You can get some nice, pretty words sometimes. It's no Jack Wayland. It's no Jack Wayland. All right. Here we go. Okay. Back in. What a warm time we were in there. But how the killing is here. Is he swi- is our car- is our narrator unreliable? Is he switching in and out? Or is he just telling us about Finn? Is he an active person in Dublin? Oh my god, you're so on the TBD. fucking board, <laughs> What a warm time we were in there, but how Kelling is here, the Arabouts. We know where she lives. Oh my god, that's so good. We know where she lives, so we collectively know where she lives, but it's spelled nowhere as in she lives nowhere she doesn't have an established home again the layer is a pun the, james joyce is the dad of <clears throat> god or the god of dads we know where she lives but you must not tell any any non oh, it's so good for the lamp of jiggle a lanthorn it's a candle little house of a month and one windies down a down, high down a down, and num murd quilm to mine, and such reasonable weather too. The wa grant winds a waltz around the pintle downs, and on every blasted nolly rock, if you can spot fifty, I spy four more. There's that gnarly bird you gathering a rune a little, do a little, pre a little, pour a little, whip a little, kicks a little, sever a little, eat a little, wine a little, kennel a little, little, health a little, palaf a little, and our labor. I'm getting it for the first time. I'm starting to get it. I'm like, it's like something's clicked for, in terms of the stream of consciousness style for me. It's right. And like, yeah, I, I can see how this is interesting. But I could see, even though I knew logically that wasn't supposed to be like trying to hard to form a narrative, my brain still was doing that a lot before. Mm-hmm. And now that I've surrendered, this is an exercise surrender in surrender. To choice. <laughs> this is so cool. I didn't think I'd ever get this. Oh, uh, look at us growing oh as God. people through Are this. Going back the to most manic, absurd in live stream you've ever watched. <laughs> And there's like actual literary nerds who are watching this and being like, oh my god, they're fucking ruining this. Nah, there's no there's no wrong. Thank you, KV, Kavi, Kavi. I'm sorry. <laughs> but thank you. We're in this together. Okay. Wine a little, kennel a little, health a little, pelf a little, gnarly bird. A very table end of bleaker barred fields. Under his seven wrath shields, health a little. Lies one lump roar, his glove toe side him. Scud, unter said, our pigeons pair are flown for north cliffs. The three of crows have flopped it suddenly, cracking of debacle to the parts of that sky whence Trebu's answer. Well, tis well, she never comes out when thorns on shower, or when once Trebu's answer. Well, tis well. She never comes out when the thorns a shower or when oh, I read that already. When thorns flash with his Nixie girls or when thorns blowing tomb cracks down the gales of thorn. No nubo no neblas on live. Her would be too moochy a freet of burly meleg and bean mellow rolling eyes and all deed in the woe. Fee fo fom. She just does hopes till boys will be boys. Here in the Ilandiskippy and the Peewee and Powwows and Beggy Baggy or her Bicky Backy and a Filk Flask Feng Fingling, its pixie lights, packs, Huemarambing bows, pickering here, pickering there, pussy pussy, plunder pussy. <laughs> I wonder what he That's meant my by new that. Bio. <laughs> plunder pussy. Plunder pussy. Plunder pussy. That's I a good band know name. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the Armitides too nigh. Militopocus and to mourn, we wish for a muddy 
Come, Nebo, me and Susie sing the day we sally bright. She's borrowed the coacher's headlight, the better to pry. Who goes cute goes seocor and shoes a rune. And all spoiled goods go into her knapsack. Curtredges and rattling buttons, nappy spatties and flasks of all nations, clavicures and scampolars, maps, keys and wood piles, henny pennies and moonlit brooches with blood stained breeks in them, boasting night garters and masses of show sets and nickel nelly knacks and fodor al Michael and a lugly parson of Kate's, and howitzer moochiers and midgers and maggots, ills and ills with lofts and toffs, and plures of bells and the last sigh that come fro the heart. Buckleed, and the fairest in the sun saw, that's the ark, with kiss, kiss Chris, cross Chris, kiss cross, undo lives, and slain. How beautiful are we, mm. do we need a little commentary? I think we gotta do the commentary. Okay, someone's getting it. Hey, Zaddies and Zemas. Someone's really. What did I miss? Explain. Um, let's see. What's Zaddies it's and Zemas? It's an ah, since you're curious, but I'm not bothered Copy. about it either way. It's slightly less high, but can I request that someday you do this with T. S. Eliot's The Wasteland? I love something slightly less high. Gotta be high for this. You or really just do. Just find the importance of being earnest. We hey, should just start li live streaming. I made up Zamas right now in the Joycean fashion. I think it's appropriate to make up your own words and just expect everybody to conform to you. Just say, this is pure consciousness. And if you're tied into consciousness, the nature of your own being, you should be able to understand it, understood it, underclude it, underferrued it under the vials of <laughs> Mr. Win and Mary Wither. <laughs> you are a fucking genius. Tana. No, it's not. You can just say no. rubbish and hoobish no. and flubbish. No. And whatever you say, if as long as it makes sense, sense a penny you ponged this way or that way. Tana, <laughs> your brain functions so... Your brain is superior. It's a dumber is what it is. I'm going to have to take a little it's piss not. break. <laughs> Well, you read the next part. <laughs> we might just need to uh, end this live stream at 52 minutes. No, I'm going to pee but and come back. you're having so much fun. You don't we want to are having it. so much fun. You keep breathing and I'll be right back. Listen, I'm like starting to get it, but you are clearly getting it way more than me. I'm going to have to I'm have to take a little piss break. Hurry up. Okay. Even just... I'm too drunk to drive home, so we can't end <laughs> Can we talk about the speed at which Tanner is reading like... I don't know. I'm trying to find a long... He didn't do any long ones on this page. The speed at which he is reading this pure madness is unfair. And honestly, Tana really is genius, you guys. Like, is this the Adamic language? Yeah. I had a uh, an old Mormon man or middle-aged sort of tell me recently that there is a part of DNA that scientists haven't like figured out what it is yet. They call it junk DNA. I don't know if that's his term or theirs. I don't trust any anything this man says. Um, and he told me that uh, what's contained in that junk part of the DNA, the DNA is the Adamic language. And I was like, oh, interesting. So you believe that uh, a, a, a language is is contained in DNA, like a, you know, a linguistic language. <laughs> All very fascinating. This chaotic energy is what gets me out of bed in the morning. Oh, stop, stop. <laughs> How are you doing, Sam? You're wonderful and amazing and smart and you're just one of my favorite people ever. That's so nice. Thank you. I'm doing, well, actually I was having a pretty bad day, but then we read chapter three of Sam. And chapter one of Which if you don't support us on Patreon, you should, because that is, I mean, that's unreadable in a different way, but it's fun because <laughs> there's a plot you can follow. Um, but yeah, I was having a pretty rough day, but then we read Sam and then, you know, a couple of girl bosses that we are, we decided let's live stream Finnegan's Way, <laughs> make $15 in super chats. We're in the money. <laughs> it sounds like this language has been in Tanner soul for ages. Just yeah, really about it. it does. I feel that Gilliland, that's such an Irish name. And my middle name Dude. is Michael. So tech, technically my name should be Tanner McGilliland. 
because Michael is short, or Mick is short for Michael. And I noticed something interesting about this narrative. Actually, I didn't notice it per se. Somebody told me about it. And that's the name Michael Bodkin. Apparently, we're going to come up. I have got to stop talking in this accent. <laughs> there, I can't explain it right now. You could be the kind of pastor that speaks in tongues. Like, I look at those people and I'm like, how do their brains do that? You are <laughs> proof that it's possible. It would be and really easy to fake. There's no doubt about it. I'd just be like, Shamala Mahashbaz, Krishka, Varun Shain. Please, I'm begging you to be quiet. This is, I have. Did you let them know that we're reading Finnegan's Wake and that we can't really I can't tell my name. <laughs> Finnegan's Wake. They'll call the police. They'll think I'm a huge nerd. <laughs> oh, a view yes. of the Hebrews, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, are we ready to keep reading? Yeah, but Jared is on his way over. Well, he's going to love this. He's going <laughs> to fucking hate this. He's going to hate this with all his heart. Here's the thing, Tana. You don't understand how, well, number one, the speed at which you're reading this is like your cognitive processing speed. I don't relate to it. How have you been a stoner for so many years and you can still process things this fast? I think it helps. <laughs> See, even that is like something different about you. Um, also, though, you say like, oh, it's easy. I would just... Like, blah, 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 blah. But most people, when they try and do an exercise like that, it's impossible because their brains would just like come up with the same two sounds. Like, But you are able to keep this like fluidity of thinking that is marvelous. I think that's why I find this book so inspiring because you can tell it's a person who was like, I do not care jack shit about making sense. And I will just write whatever comes to my head and people will write their doctorate dissertations about it. Yeah, he really did play everyone. Like people have spent their entire careers studying this work. No, he he really knew. He was like, I'm a <laughs> fucking genius and you're Is all about to Because he already out. had a reputation. Yeah, he, he knew what he was doing, which is completely blowing literature apart. What a Wait. world wait <laughs> a super chat but wait we'll stop i want a bumper sticker that says we'll stop for super chats <laughs> <laughs> hope this helps your day be better sam you always look amazing too thanks for all you do fellow apostates can i just quickly i was already saying this to, to my good friend samantha earlier but as time goes on i just become more and more grateful to have you as a friend stop. and this is not just We've the alcohol speaking i was saying this before we in just tequila or beer yeah it's true it's just, it's really amazing to find such a rational and compassionate person who wants to make creative things together and just have a fun time. Mm -hmm. Samantha, more than anybody I know, is constantly thinking about other people and how Stop. to be a good uh, person in the world and how to make positive changes and you really care about people's <laughs> feelings. Is this too much? You no, I love it. It's so um, cute. It's anyway, so nice. Samantha's just the best. But every I've ever everything had. you're saying is exactly how I feel about you. So I just don't want the spotlight to just be on me because and, uh, Tana is the sanest person I know I'm and the yet. most empathetic. Uh, what? Well, okay, <laughs> as you were. I was gonna say you also taught me how to be a good friend because I feel like for most of my life. Are you excited? You're getting a little <laughs> insight into our cute friend. Oh my moment. god! <laughs> you also taught me how to be a good friend. Um, because you're all like every time I get sick, you make me like a basket of like nice. I did make things. you the dopest COVID basket. I'm gonna cry. Oh, he has two shots one time. Mm. You really are this. such a good friend. Stop. You are. I like. I seriously. I didn't. I kind of like. Well, because I the mission threw me mm. for a loop. Because you like get so connected to these people and then you just leave and you never see them again. Yeah. And I kind of got in this thing of like, everybody I know will leave. So like, <laughs> say la vie. But you like consistently showed up as like a really good friend, someone who's like invested in my life and who like cared about me. And I was like, oh my God, like Sam is a real friend. Anyway. It's true. Find yourself it's because a friend like Samantha. That's as, all I'm saying. As, as, my parents have many issues, but one of the best qualities about my mom is she is a very loyal friend and she's very generous um, and she she really shows up for people. And you have definitely taken that. You're very generous. You're always giving to causes you believe in and the people that you believe in. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Samantha in the comments. I never catch live, you guys, but I've been watching for a while. Being part of this hang has been really Aww. cool. I'm glad somebody got something. <laughs> this really out. turned into something lovely. <laughs> a penny a pound a roundabout a when driving through the tags down through the, the town with no mind at all time. Someone gets it. Thank you. 
This is so close to my mouth. <laughs> uh, this is the shit you only get if you sit through an hour of Finnegan's <laughs> Wake with us, right? And also, how can you judge the impact of a text by how, what the words mean, how good they are, the words <laughs> that you use? It's about the impact on the reader. Well, look at this, bringing us all together, uh-huh. helping us feel grateful for the people in our lives. You've finnegan but have you begin again? <laughs> 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 On a Wednesday in a cafe, <laughs> do you begin again? Oh, man, I've had to move every two years to work. And before that, went to college very far away from hometown. And I really feel that. I get nervous when people get too attached to me. Aww. So I feel like I'm always going to have to leave. It is hard because it's hard. You, like, love somebody and you develop that attachment. And you're like, oh, my God, you're such a part of what, like, makes me a healthy, happy human. And then they're gone. You're like, well, shit, now I have yeah. nothing again. Did you move houses a lot as a kid? Uh-huh. I moved every See, two years. I never moved as a kid. I My mom still lives in the house I was, bo- I was born in. Wow. I go home and I'm like, I don't have any sentimental connection with this Yeah, place. there you go. There's there's more sentimental stuff in my family. And I'm from a broken single child, single mother family. Uh, <laughs> but that we still have... Fear. I would love for the people, for people who have followed us for a while to meet Botter someday. That would be the funnest experience. <laughs> You guys think you know me, but when you meet my mother, you're like, (laughs) I just feel like it's a whole level of understanding that is unlocked. Mm. And because she's so unique, that's why I'm like, people can find me weird to read sometimes or like, uh, I seem to be kind of a polarizing person (laughs) I've noticed throughout my life. And part of that is from like, you know, personal flaws, but it's it's all very understandable (laughs) when Uh you know where I came from. Um, shout out to Rex Mowgli, one of our best supporters. Rex, every single month, I like see him in like our Patreon or an email, and I was sending like, in like sending encouraging the most words. wholesome content. Like Rex is one of those people that you're just like, I'm so glad they're in my internet space. Yeah, you know, like it's like that's the kind of thing that makes it feel like I don't know, like a community. You know, Rex is a hippie. I know that about you, Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's mom Q and A on Patreon. Oh Guys, my god, that would be so fun! There you can't is even not it. enough money. I mean, there is an amount of money I would do it for. Okay, so we're starting to go find me after this. She's coming to visit America in like October. I don't really, I don't t- really talk about like doing this stuff because I don't really love telling people in my family and friend group back home, like how much of a cult I was in. So I kind of just like keep it a bit separate. Play it cool. Play it cool, yeah. It was just a casual cult. I had a good time and then I left. Um, yeah, there's some stuff there. There's, there's, we've all got stuff there. But um, I could just get her to like f- answer questions about me and you on camera. Oh, but just like not so tell her what it's for. Funny. We have to get Botters on. That would be so funny. Me and Botters, oh, I guarantee God. you by the end of the thing, we would be end up drink- like so drunk singing Shaggy. It wasn't me. You only saw me on the sofa. I, it's it disturbing <laughs> when you connect with my mother. It's like something about it is like horrifying, but also I'm so glad you can do that. She thing. had me pegged at BYU Idaho. She was like, Does Tana do drugs? And is he a queer? <laughs> and you're like, oh, No, not she yet. said, Is he a bit of a fairy? <laughs> That's good. She has a, a very attuned gaydar. Someone said, My mom also lives in the same house I was born in. Didn't expect you to say that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you know, nice. in the 90s in England, you could buy like a middle class house for like 180,000. Whoa. A middle class house for 180,000. My house is small in England. Like it's a cheap one. It's not like a, it's like lower middle class. Hi, Jared. Oh my God. Is Jared here? Jared. The we're reason for the this clover. season. <laughs> Jared, we're bumping inside a clover. Jared, pin. we're bumping and bumping. <laughs> Jared's going to hate this. He's going to hate this. We're going to have to sign off any minute. Please send all the super chats you can. Can I lock one of your pinky door when my hands are Oh, no. Oh, Jared. We're going to give you all the lumping and flumping you get your heart's desire. Jared, do you have any Irish ancestry in you? I don't know. Probably. I'm sure I do. Okay. Well, you're going to love this. Live stream. Okay. The wine mom Jared, someone on YouTube live asks, Jared get Jared in here now. Somebody new else says, drops coming soon. This is a live stream. Hey guys, yeah, we've been reading Finnegan's Week by James Joyce. <laughs> Did you guys Just get it? Around to yeah, Riverbend. we totally get it. Yeah, we we're it. every cool. reference where it's in here. Joyce heads. Joyce heads. I couldn't take a walk to. Oh, sorry. 
did it wrong. Said I couldn't take a walk too close to the dust. She flew over the musk with a twist toward the docks. Show me shoals and see my spear right cried bright. Indeed, little one down will go. That was really good, Liz. Liz, Incredible. I hope you're writing. We got some real like Joyce writers in the chat today. Yeah. There's been at least five good ones. If someone gives a uh, super chat specifically to Jared, we will send it to him. Uh -huh. Guys, we can't afford that. But we can't afford We're taking a loss on this live stream. <laughs> <laughs> we this can barely pay our rent, please. <laughs> so sad I want you guys to stream more. I feel like I'm not deep enough in the law. I don't know who Jared is, but hello, Jared. Time uh, to get into the law. Hi. Jared has been my boyfriend for the last three and a half, three and a half years. He's Wine Mom Jared on Instagram. He's a fashion designer. And we're all obsessed with Jared. Jared we're could be a Joseph Smith type if you really want to. He's wanted, also the best comedian we know. Good. Yeah. You know, I've been there, done that. Wasn't for me. Okay, yeah. just to just to clarify, Laura should Sutton no, sent five dollars, but it wasn't necessarily for you. Jared. It was not defined. So I'm sorry, Jared, but that's not for you. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. I <laughs> I'm doing okay right now. Do you want to hear one paragraph before we sign off? Yeah, yeah. do one paragraph. <clears throat> Would you like a drink? Do you need to take a shot? You're doing shots? Well, we yeah, we did vodka. shots. We did like one shot. It's not in the There's James Joyce fashion. No, but we have vodka I, in the fridge. Guinness and whiskey is the, the James Joyce. I think. I okay. Wish. Let's hear it. Okay. More boring drivel from James Joyce, Scott Brandon. Oh, I, I don't think he's much of a oh, literary man. Someone <laughs> said and he's like a construction carpenter guy or something. Could be talking about Jesus or Jared. Jared makes high-end furniture. He's a welder. His stuff is incredible. Everything in my apartment was made by him. If you ever see like Jared, cool, colorful metal say, furniture. You're one of the most talented <clears throat> and all around shining stars that I know. That's so nice of you to say that. Tamar gave me a big speech earlier. He's on some bullshit tonight. Yeah, you're on some it's bullshit. called tequila. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Tanner. Are the brother of Jared, Tanner himself. Uh, the brother, yeah. Uh, we owe you five <clears throat> bucks. Four ninety nine, actually. Oh my oh, is God. This uh, oh, for the brother. That's me. That's you. That's you. I love all, th all three of your vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's right. sipping mead. That's the perfect drink. So we, oh my God, I'm buying mead and we're doing another James Joyce yeah, live stream. Yeah, mead. mead. I need the mead. I, I need the mead. Maybe mead with a parenthesis <laughs> in. Wheel me towards the mead <laughs> house of meadows gone before. You so guys. Jared, the important part of this book is turn off your rational brain. The part brain. of you that wants to make sense it's and order like things dream. in the It's just like a dream. It's just like a stream of consciousness. Okay. Nothing is, don't try and understand anything. Just like let your subconscious ride with All it. All vibes. This is just vibes. And it's really just about staying present with it. Let me make one thing clear. I never <clears> try <throat> to understand anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Business as usual. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. You are my favorite parasocial friend. Oh, <laughs> that really Same. means a lot. Teeth are too tall of fluid, hang the twaddle of the foddled. Hurrah, there is but young leave for the owl globe, wheels in view, which is tautologically the same thing. Well, him, a being of so of flounder of his bulk, like an overgrown babbling, let we peep see at home, we'll see PG ought he ought platterpate. Home. From Ashopolis to Bailiwick, or from Ashton to Baranoth. I think I read this part. I'm going to just skip <laughs> ahead. It's it doesn't so matter. different every time. <laughs> yet, may we <clears throat> not, yet may we not see still the Brontoik Thayan form outlined a slumbered, even our, in our own night time by the sedge of the trout, ling stream that Bronto loved, and Brunto has a lean on. Hic quat edilis apud libertanum parvulum. What if she be in flags or flitters, reeky rags or Sunday choses with a mint of mines or a beggar a pennyweight? Ara, sure, we all love little Annie Rooney, or we mean to say, love little Anna Rainey. When you did read that bit. Did we already read this bit yeah. about Annie Rindy? I feel like you're not saying any like <laughs> words. I can, I it's not don't. it's gibberish this it's is like, irish it, no it's not it's, <laughs> it's meant to be gibberish but it it, like there's, okay. well what it is is like every word that can be a pun is a pun but there's like 12 puns within one pun so like every single thing is a play on words or an obscure reference or like it's like essentially to the average 2021 reader it's gibberish mm. but but there is sense you just kind of like gibberish. pick out pieces 
also someone said is the book written weird no this is exactly how it's written yeah, yeah, yeah. Tanner is articulating it flawlessly this the way to the muse room mind your hats going in now ye, now yees are in the willingdon musi room this is a prussian gun this is a french tip this is the flag of the prussian also the cap and the sorcerer this is the bullet that bang the flag of the Perusius. This is the French that fire on the bull that bang the flag of the Perusius. Salus the cross gun. Up, up with your pike and fork. Tip bull's foot. Fine. This is the triple one hat of the Lilpilium. Tip Lipotham hat. This is the willing dun on his same white horse, the cope and hype. This is the big Srothter, willing done, grand and magnetic in his golden spurs and his ironed dukes, and his quarter brass woody shoes, and his magnetic in his golden spurs and his iron dukes, and his quarter brass woody shoes and his magnetic garters, and his banks, Bangkok's best and Gollier's galoshes, and his Polyon East and Wartrues, magnate garters, and his Oh, shit, I'm reading the same line over and Fuck over. Off. This is his big white horse tip. This I is think, the three... Are we about done? I think done? we got to cut it off. We got to make dinner. But like, we have a thousand more pages. I was really enjoying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. My friend studied Joyce at Brown University. He went insane. Whoa. The only James Joyce I've ever had is a podcast reading his weird saucy letters. That actually... It's not that. gibberish. Joyce had his own language. Yeah, I'm, I said it's like gibberish as in like... To, the, to like to me who doesn't who hasn't like studied literature for 50 years it's i have to just go through feeling and like let it flow you know <laughs> this is zelf's joyce <laughs> <laughs> our joy us our joyous a joyous conglomerate a here. Join. <laughs> us on patreon at patreon.com slash self on the show Okay, thank you all for joining us for an hour and 11 minutes um <laughs> can't imagine anyone's been here the whole time but if you have Kudos to your boy for in your fry for. <laughs> we love it about you. <laughs> uh, spread the word about James Joyce, everyone. Yes, we're having and one we'll big see you stroke soon. together. <laughs> <laughs> if you only see Z uh, Finnegan's Wake live streams for the next six weeks. This is a book club. We're going to be back. <laughs> it's not easy making content week after week for pennies, okay? <laughs> mm. Hey. Okay, love you love all. you. Bye, Thanks guys. for sitting Follow for Follow Mum Jared and the Samspo and T underscore. Tanner G underscore. Art. I just want to say it's good to see everybody. Sorry to cut off your handle. You're that was good. so rude of me. No, handle me handle. <laughs> well, I just want to say it's good to see everybody. I can't get a grip. <laughs> I hope everybody has a great night. We love you very much. We love you. Sorry to all Well, the, the Irish, Irish don't really love that much. <laughs> <laughs> we stoically observe you from afar. <laughs> And that's all my family trauma. Oh.